Hi guys! Today we're going to export our ringtones and use iTunes to convert them to MP3s. Okay, I've got a ringtone right here. And I'm going to take it. And a few of you know that there's another window in Ableton Live called the Arrangement window. So we're in the Session view now. And I'm going to grab all these um, and have them under my mouse and hit the tab button and the tab button will take us to the arrangement view and I'm going to drop them in the tracks that they come from and I can extend them um, to make them last as long as I would like them to last now they are all dim they are all dim we're still playing what we hear over here to play what we hear over here we need to hit this top secret button right here this orange button when we click it it will make these things get bright right now okay and now we are hearing this uh, window okay so now we need to select what we want to export we're going to get this uh, loop bracket here put it to the beginning of what we want to export and take this to the end of what we want to export we want to export eight measures from one to nine I'm going to click in the middle of this bar, make it black. And that selects all of the material we want to export. We'll go to File, Export Audio. All right, here you can see the render start is going to start at measure one, and the render length is going to be eight measures. And then we can click Export. All right, another way to do it is to go back into the session uh, view and we're, we've got these playing this is what we want to play and just from here we hit file export audio but now we need to change we have the render start being at measure one but the render length maybe we want eight measures so we click in there and make it eight measures maybe we want it uh, to be 16 measures click and make it 16 or maybe we want 32 okay uh, that's probably going to be quite long enough once we have that exported uh, uh, selected the length of what we want to render then we click export and now it's going to do some of its work to um, to export it we are going to save it as the name uh, I'm happy with this name you can change the name and I'm going to export it to the desktop. That will allow me to find it easier to put it into iTunes. So I'm going to put it on the desktop. And then I click Save. And now it's going to zip through. What we're going to do is we're going to take that file from the desktop. We're going to put it into iTunes. And iTunes has an MP3 converter, which will convert it to an MP3. So now what I need to do is go to iTunes and I need to change the preferences. iTunes up here, preferences. And I need to make sure it's going to turn it into an MP3. I go to import settings. I'm going to bring this into iTunes, so the import settings. And I need to select MP3 encoder and I need to select the higher quality. Okay, import settings, MP3 encoder, higher quality. Okay, okay. All right, and now I'll go find that ringtone project. Let's see if this will work. Oh, it's this one, the AIF file. It's alphabetical, so here's the ringtone project. Okay, now what I need to do is control click it, control click it, and create an MP3 version. So I drag from my desktop, I drag it into iTunes, I find it in iTunes, control click, create MP3 version, boom, it's doing it, and now there's an MP3 version right here. See, I can drag that out and put that on my desktop 
and now I have an mp3 version on my desktop I can uh, write an email to myself drag that into the email attach it write an email to somebody else drag that in and attach it and send it to someone else all right that's how to export your music uh, put it into iTunes change some of the preferences and turn it into an mp3 have fun